Hey, so real quick, I've had a lot of teachers who have started allowing students to share their screen. And, and sharing the screen and allowing students and teachers to share their screen is one of the best features in Zoom. But there's a right way and a wrong way to allow a student to share the screen. So the wrong way is to make them a host or a co-host of the meeting. So when you make a student the host or the co-host of the meeting, they have full control of the meeting. They can even kick the teacher out of the meeting. So you never want to allow a student to be a host or a co-host of the meeting. That's the wrong way to share. It gives them too much control. They could accidentally admit somebody who tries to join the meeting that's not even supposed to be there and you don't have any control of that as a teacher. The right way to allow a student to share your screen is real easy. So you as the teacher, down here where it says share screen, there's a little green arrow next to it. If you click on that and click on advanced sharing options, here's where you can do it. It says right here, how many participants can share at once? Well, I would leave that on one participant at a time. You don't want seven people sharing their screen at once, okay? But it says who can share. Well, at the moment, the way I have this checked, only I can share, only the host. So let's say I'm in a class and a, and a student says, I want to share my screen, or I tell them to share their screen. Then you just need to click on this green arrow, click on advanced, and say all participants can share, and then they'll be able to share. And as soon as they're done sharing, I would go back to that green arrow in advanced and change it back to only the host can share. So it's that simple. Allowing them to share and then not allowing them to share all happens right here on this green arrow where it says advanced sharing options, right? So I would caution you, do not allow students to be the host or the co-host, right? One more time, go to that green arrow, not the big green arrow, but the little one, and choose advanced. And if you want to allow a student to share, if you want to allow a student to share, just make it where all participants can share. Now this line right here says who can start sharing when someone else is sharing. Well, that's like taking over the screen, right? So you want only the host to be able to take over the sharing. So don't make that all participants. But when it says who can share, if you want to allow a student to share, just make it where all participants can, but only one participant can share at a time. And then the moment, so let's imagine a student just finished sharing. The moment they're done, I'm going to click that green arrow again and click advanced and I'm going to make it where only the host can share again, and that removes the ability for anyone on the meeting to share. So I hope that video helps.